Good morning. I'm Higher Vibrations and so are you. I want to uh, make a quick announcement that we are going to hold another Zoom meeting. It is free of charge and all are welcome to join. The intention is just a place of love where we have no judgment and we can share experiences. All of us are going through these things at the same time. And for the longest time, we have been isolated. There have been a limited number of people that we can contact and have conversation with about these things that we're going through. And it's amazing how the, it's like magic. When we talk to each other about these things as they come, then it's just easier to know that some of the things that we're going through, that's to find out what they mean and what, why they're there, if that makes any sense. We just start talking and then it's like we're activating each other. And as we're talking, these energies, the frequency of the space just rises and rises. And it's just, it's recharging and it's beautiful. It's free of charge. It will not be aired or recorded. And you're welcome to come late or leave early. Um, some people come and don't even turn their camera or their, their audio on. And that's okay. It's just a place for us to be. This time, it will be held on Wednesday night. It will be held at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And for the sake of just doing it, all of the other time zones will be displayed above my head here. Um, you're welcome to join. And if you don't want to, that's cool too. So the things that we're going through right now, a lot of us are noticing these intensified experiences. And they can seem alarming while we're going through them because... Well, we don't exactly know what they are, right? Especially when we're alone and doing this by ourselves. And so, first of all, there's been a lot of solar flares for quite some time. You know, and I know a lot of you have followed a lot of the different Native American stories and, and the, the, the word-to-mouth con conversation that's been happening for generation upon generation. And one of those conversations is this story of the Hopi people, and it's really in every tribe that I know of anyway, but it really is a Hopi thing of the Rainbow Tribe, right? The Rainbow Warriors. And it's a time when all of the things light up and we all connect. Every, every race, religion, creed, all around the planet, people put aside their differences and then they all return to Mother Gaia, return to Mother Earth, and go back to the important things in life. A story that I was told growing up over and over again was the one when the story of, of Mu. Mu is Lemuria, from what I understand of it. And there was a time when the sun wept into the ocean. And when that occurred, Mu disappeared. And the story goes that when the sun weeps into the other ocean, then Mu will rise again. For the longest time, I wondered if that meant that there was going to be a physical continent that would be right, that would rise above the water. And I'm starting to see that instead, perhaps, maybe that actually means that now we're at this time, this place, this precipice of awakening, of ascension experience that as Lemurians, as Atlanteans, we, this is a point that we got to spiritually before we fell and now we're at this time where we're suddenly in this new territory right this space where we hadn't gotten this far before in our spiritual awareness in our inner oneness in our connectedness in our understanding that there is no separation there is only love and love is the truest thing that is, is in any part of any experience Everything that pulls you away from love, pulls you towards fear, is an illusion. It is a way to pull you away from the truth, from understanding the belief of what it is, from the reality, and closer into this place of the matrix. So now here we are, and we have been having these solar flares, many, many of them. And the odds of a solar flare being earth-facing is, is pretty big, you know, like a lot of it's astronomical number of sorts, because wherever it blasts from it, it can go all around in every direction for it to be directly facing earth is not uncommon. It's just uncommon for it to happen very often. 
as I understand it, based on what little I follow, everyone or just about every one of the solar flares, because I haven't looked for a few days, have been earth facing. We have been getting them day after day. And we are getting these light codes from these, these solar flares. We are getting tuned. We are being put into alignment. We are being given gifts from the sun people, from the space that we have all this DNA that's been long called, been called junk DNA. And now we're being shown that instead of being junk, perhaps instead it was dormant. It was simply asleep. There was a need. There had to be enough people in their awakening for us to get to turn those on. It's a, it's almost like a built in safety mechanism, right? So the kids don't play with the power tools when they're not ready yet. And that's still happening as each of these power tools become available to us. We must first master the use of that power tool before we can then move on and to do the next thing. You, as a student, are not likely to walk into a wood shop for the first day having never used a nail or a hammer and expect to be able to build an entire house. It takes time. We need to learn how to use the lathe and to do it safely and how to be safe and comfortable in that space. And then the next thing, and the next thing. And then before you know it, we are building the world. Because for we are the, the creators. We are creators of light. And all of us here, all of us, have come because we are the most capable. We are the most prepared. We are the most adequate for this mission. Everyone raised their hand when volunteers were asked for. And of those volunteers, you were picked. You were chosen. There were so many options to be chosen from. But you, you were, you were picked out of the crowd and said, this person, this energy is the most capable. I asked for you to go. And then we came. We came as a family. We came here and now we're undergoing this ascension experience again. We've done this before. We know what to do. We just, we're slowly remembering what it was like. Our goal, our mission is not simply to ascend. That part's the easy part for us. We do that in our sleep on autopilot. It's that we are ascending from this dense, dense space and trailblazing, creating a bridge for others so they may also ascend. These many who were trapped here for some time, many lifetimes, always in this loop, this cycle, not quite making it to the stairway. Now we are showing them the stairs. And that's why we keep getting these visions of these steps, these stairs, these tunnels, these doors, these gates, these entryways, these are all symbols of this experience that we're doing. It's not that we are finding them, it's that we are showing them to everyone else. Know that you got this. You're not alone. And there are many, many, many more of us out here just like you. These ascension symptoms are still happening, yet we don't need to always focus on exactly what it is we're going through. And so that's why today for this particular video, I don't feel like there's a need exactly right now to talk about those. However, I will post, create and post another video soon regarding the list of ascension symptoms being experienced by the many, including myself. We need you to know that you are not alone and that you are prepared you are capable. You are a pro. You do your mission without any true need to focus. You do your mission when you are at play. Be at play. Thank you so much for your service. I know it's hard. 
and it's going to feel a little bit harder for a bit, but that's okay. Know that you're not alone, and this is temporary. I am sending you so much love. I hope you're having a lovely journey. I hope blessings.